when you have a decision to make, whether it's big or small, do you actually tune out the world and listen to your gut, your heart, what's telling you you should do inside? Or do you have a hard time hearing what's in there? So I go into detail in my blog about a few ways to help learn about yourself, hear what's really inside, and how to tune out the external world and trust that your gut is making the decision that you should do. So I wanna start by sharing my own personal journey um, where I know I've discussed in past blogs, I normally never listen to my gut. Um, if my gut told me that I should do something, before I made that decision, I would ask everyone what they thought before I would make the decision. And most of the time, I wouldn't even make the decision that my gut told me to. But you know what happened? What happened is, when you take a decision that's different from your gut, your instincts, your heart, what you really want in life to make you happiest, you will find that somehow you will get to the point of resistance. You'll get to the point where you're struggling with the decision you made that wasn't really yours because in the end, you're not gonna be happy. So let's say for example, you're deciding between two jobs and one is so much more money and the other one isn't but the one that's less money you're more passionate about. You relate more to the people who are on staff there, um, but you ask around and everybody says, you need the money, take that other job. So you go ahead and take the other job. What's gonna happen? You're gonna go every single day and you're not gonna be happy. You're gonna say, oh, why didn't I take that other job? Why didn't I take that other job? Well, you know what? If you trusted your gut and took that other job, who knows, maybe in a year, they would have given you a bonus. Maybe in a year, you would have gotten another offer that was even more than the first offer. So what it comes down to is your gut is going to give you the easiest way to live your life. So if you're facing resistance and you're facing a situation and one way is the difficult path, is a struggle, and the other way is easier, I want you guys to take a minute and say to yourself, why am I scared to do what's easy? Why am I doing what's difficult? Because life and your life decisions that come into your life should be easy. Life should just flow naturally to you. And if it's a struggle, then maybe you're not going with your gut. So in my blog, I give you three ways to connect with yourself, which have really worked for me, and hopefully they'll work with you too, um, to discover you know, who you really are, what makes you tick, and kind of what your strengths and weaknesses are, and then to do some work on yourself. Because the more we work on ourselves, the more we know what our gut is telling us to do, and then the more we're gonna trust and believe it, right? So when you guys tune into my blog, you will see me talk about, and I'll tell you the three things right now, they go more in detail on my blog, is one, spending time with yourself. And this isn't just you know taking an hour by yourself. This is actually taking yourself on vacation for a weekend, taking yourself to the movies and to dinner alone, um, taking yourself to the beach for the day alone. So how many of you guys out there are scared to do things alone? are much more comfortable inviting a friend along or you know seeing if anyone's available or maybe you don't even do that thing because you don't have somebody to come with you so that was me and i discovered that when you spend some time alone like really truly alone is when you um get to know yourself really well so that's number one number two is to sit somewhere comfortable um where nobody will disturb you and you know, just use this time to let thoughts come in and out, be an observer, and um, you know, try not to think so much. And you will, the more you do this, the more you'll build up, and then you will um, be able to discover what's underneath. So that's number two, I go more in detail. And then number three is to find a personal development, self-worth, um, course one's either online or you can go in person you guys they're all valuable I think once you take course after course after course after course at some point you need to trust and hear your inner self um, but definitely uh, we should all be taking courses because we all can grow we all can learn about ourselves and we all can comp 
improve ourselves and learn to trust our guts. So that's my message for you guys. I hope you enjoy this blog. Really take a time to read and comment of what resonated with you most. And if you had any advice or maybe you have some suggestions of when you trusted your gut and when you didn't and what happened. So thanks you guys. Um, I hope you enjoy. I hope you learned something. And um, remember, it's all inside. It's just a matter of trust. Thanks for watching. Bye.